YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Shay Catrice and I'm back again with another video for you guys. Welcome to Vlogmas. It is day number five. If you haven't watched four, three, two, and one, make sure you check out those videos when this one is over. As you guys see by the title, today I'm going to be showing you all of my tattoos and explaining the meaning, giving y'all my pain tolerance and so forth. Um, but before we get too much into the video, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and most importantly, make sure you guys subscribe. If you're not subscribed, stop right now and go subscribe, because I'll wait for y'all. Don't even worry about it. I'm patient. Y'all should be subscribed right now. Um, turn on post notifications and all that good stuff, and with that being said, we're going to get right into it, so let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so we're not going to waste too much time. We're going to jump straight into it. I do have a paper right here because I listed my tattoos, my age, and everything. So when I'm telling y'all I don't get like a brain fart or something and look like I don't know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is if it can be shown with what I have on, which is not much, um, like not many can be shown, then I will show y'all. But if it cannot be shown, I will put pictures on this side of the screen for y'all to look at um so i do have seven total and yeah we're gonna go so my first tattoo are the elephants here's a picture of my elephants it is right here it's not big at all it's not small but it's not big um this tattoo i got when i was 18 after a couple months after i turned 18 this is me and my older sister's matching tattoo um it just kind of symbolizes like our relationship, I would say, like, we got it. She got it before me, and then I got it once I turned 18 because I was old enough. Um, we just always said that we was going to get it, and we got it. And my sister is, like, my best friend. So that tattoo means a lot to me. Um, the pain tolerance of that tattoo, I would say, it was very low. Like, it was my first tattoo, but I was sitting there, like, taking it. I can probably insert the video because I probably still have it. Um... Tattoo was a breeze. I was recording, talking to my sister and talking to my brother that was there with me. And it was a breeze. So I would probably say like a one, like it was very, very low. Um, my next tattoo are my rope or my flowers, not roses, but my flowers. Um, it go from up here to down here. I will insert pictures of it right here. I'm gonna show y'all my first session and then my second session. Um, I wanted to get it all done in one session, but he was telling somebody else before me. So by the time he got my first two done, he was like, okay, we're going to schedule another one for the third one. But this is my biggest tattoo, y'all. I got this tattoo at 19. Um, this tattoo, it does not mean anything. It was cute. I seen a couple like trending pictures of people like with flowers on their legs. So I kind of like put it together and it was like, I want this one. Um, the pain tolerance on this one. The one closest to my knee and in the middle was a cool like five but the one that's up here like the top one going up here y'all i'm not gonna lie that one had to be a cool like seven and a half eight like compared to the other two that one hurt the other two did not hurt but it wasn't nothing to where i was like oh my god this is like unbearable i cannot take it it wasn't nothing like that but you definitely felt it. I can tell you that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it don't have no meaning. It was just a cute tattoo that I liked. So I got it. The next one is going to be this quote. Um, I can show y'all this right here. It says, I will carry you with me till I see you again with like a heart and then a heartbeat. And it says, Dad, this is for my father who passed away in 2018. Um, I got this tattoo at 20 years old. Okay, well, I guess I just told y'all the meaning. This is for my dad who passed away. Um, my dad is my heart. So when the whole situation happened, you know what I'm saying? This tattoo, it really means a lot to me. It's actually not finished. I need to get it finished. But to get it started and have something meaningful meaningful for him on my body that I can look at every day, look at whenever I want to. And this tattoo is just very personal to me. Um probably one of my most important tattoos if not my most important and yeah. my next one oh my god is my chest i have a tattoo right here it's very small um here is a picture of the inserted 
it is very small. And let me tell y'all just a, a small, small backstory. I got it out in Arizona. Um, this tat artist was doing, it was like $15 Tuesdays for small tattoos that would be quick, like 20, 30 minutes. So me and my friend was like, okay, we finna go. She ended up canceling. But I already messaged him and was like, well, I'm coming to get my $15 tattoo. Like, I want to get tagged. I missed the needle. I got this at 21. Um, Y'all, I got there and I like I wanted to chicken out. I wasn't going to chicken out because I would have chicken out before I got there if I was going to chicken out. But I got there and I was just like, oh my God, like I'm so nervous. Y'all, this tattoo right here, a cool 10. Right here. Pain tolerance is a cool 10, y'all. This was no joke. This is my smallest tattoo, I think. And this is the most painful. Like, it's supposed to... I want to get it finished. Well, I don't want to say finished because I never had, like, a whole piece. It was always just this. And then I wanted to add, like, something going here. But this hurts so bad that it's like... I'm a little nervous to go get this. Because, like, I can take the needle. But that right there that was some shit like when he was tatting i was just sitting there like that and then even when he would take the needle off to put more ink on it or to do whatever whatever he was doing it still felt like my chest was vibrating that one was no joke y'all and like i said it took like 15 20 minutes it looked good like the placement everything is good but it it, it hurt y'all i'm gonna just admit it y'all it hurt and I'm going to admit that I'm nervous to go and get this done because this set the tone. This set the tone for anything, like, even right here. This scared me to where I don't even want to go get my piece right here no more because I'm supposed to be getting something right here. And I'm nervous because that made me nervous. It didn't make me nervous for any other part of my body because I got multiple tattoos after this. But anywhere right here, yeah, um yeah so my next one is this tattoo right here behind my ear hopefully y'all can see it it is my mom's birthday in roman numerals i got this at age 22 so i got this last year um yeah you know i guess the meaning is my mom's birthday um i seen somebody with a like a different date like that and i'm like well i don't want to just get any date like I want to get my mama's birthday. Like, that's meaningful. So, I went and we had picked out a little placement. And, you know, we did the little thing. It's actually really cute. Um, The pain tolerance for this didn't hurt at all. This was probably, like, a two, maybe a three. Like, it wasn't bad at all. And with this one being so, like, easy to take, that's why I got my other side. Because I'm like, this was a breeze. Like, let's go get the other side. Why not? Um... So, that brings me into this tattoo. Um, I got this also at 22. I got this in the beginning of this year. So, March of this year. This is that tattoo. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's four of them. Boom, 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 and then whatever. And like I said, this tattoo, it didn't hurt. Um, this one, it also doesn't have no meaning. It's just cute. My I don't need no meaning for no tattoo. If it's cute, I'm going to get it. But these three right here was cool. This one, like these was probably still like a three. Or like up here was like a three. This was like a four maybe. And this one right here, compared to this, these ones, this one hurt. But it didn't like hurt to where it's like I can't take it. But I felt the needle. These ones, I felt like it was just like you could just keep going all day in. Like it was really whatever. But... This one right here, I felt. Like I said, it don't have no meaning, but he did his shit because this is beautiful. This is, like, I, I really like this tattoo. So it's like when I be talking, it's like you can't see this one just a little bit. So I feel like I need something here. So it's kind of like boom. But this one right here, you know, at the right angle, you can like. And you can see my tattoo. So that's exciting. And then my last tattoo is... This one right here, I'm going to put it on the screen. It says 1998 in red. I will show y'all, but then I got to, like, kick my leg up here, and I'm not trying to do all that. This one right here, I got at 23. I actually got this one in September, so, like, two months ago. Yeah, like, two months ago, almost three months ago. Um, That one, 
it didn't really hurt like on the eight which is like in my inner leg or inner ankle whatever you want to call it the eight you felt but it definitely wasn't unbearable like it wasn't like oh come on come on come on it was like i could feel it but keep going like you know what i'm saying and my plan was to get 19 on the back of one ankle and then or back of one leg and then 98 on the other so it was like boom boom but he had put it like 1998 and then i had liked the way it looked on one leg so i'm like okay that's cool and then right before we started he was like okay well i just ordered all of these new ink colors you know i'm not gonna charge you you want to try the color i don't have no color tattoos so i'm sitting there like do i and i y'all ain't gonna lie to y'all i almost went green I'm not gonna lie, I thought this bright greenish or whatever color, I thought it would look really good, but I was so scared. So I'm like, you know what? I feel like you can't go wrong with red. Fuck it, you ain't charging me extra for it. Let's do red and boom, it turned out and it's cute. I really like that tattoo Um, with the right shoes on and you know, when the summer season come up, spring season when I can wear shorts and stuff and some sandals or some tennis shoes, it's gonna be like right above my tennis shoes. So. It's going to be really cute when it's when it can be shown. Right now it's cold, so I got pants and stuff on, and you can't see it, but we'll wait on that. Um, so, yeah, the meaning, that's my birth year, you know, 1998, best year, period. Um, but, yeah, so that's all of my tattoos. I have seven tattoos. Um, I do already have my next tattoo planned out. Um, I ain't going to tell y'all because I want it to be a surprise surprise but if y'all want to find out sooner than everybody's gonna find out on youtube go follow my instagram it's in the description box there's my link you don't even gotta go on instagram and type it in go to my description box click the link boom you on my page that's simple and while you down looking down there go uh subscribe to my channel too if you haven't but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and Y'all want to see any specific videos from Vlogmas or just any specific videos in general, make sure you comment them down below because I do read my comments when y'all do comment and I want to give y'all the content that y'all want to see. So with that being said, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, turn on the post notifications and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.